My favorite part of the job by far is getting out and, and turning wrenches. Uh, I like the design aspect of it. I like being, being able to be creative there, but then seeing it come to fruition and sometimes getting to build it as well, that's my favorite part. That's a lot of fun. Early on, it's very intensive on the design side. It's gonna be at my desk. It's gonna be running simulations. It's gonna be using SolidWorks. It's gonna be uh, doing the design work, the virtual side of things. Then as that, that machine transitions from the virtual realm into the physical realm, what you see behind us, it becomes a lot more coming out in the shop floor, getting my hands dirty, turning wrenches, talking with the, the manufacturers, the tool builders, uh, discussing how things need to change, what needs to be updated, how that, that those updates are gonna be implemented. I lived in the boondocks growing up, so you, you fixed your own stuff. If you wanted something, you made it yourself. Uh, so there's a lot of hands-on stuff growing up that, that prepares you for, for this. And you learn a lot about machinery as living in a farm community, right? So understanding how a transmission works or how an axle goes together, it helps a lot when you go to design mechanical systems that we design now. We have this, this depth of knowledge, this wealth of knowledge through that robust team that it sets us apart. We can get it done the right way the first time. Entry level, five-year engineer, then your senior level engineer, then project lead and uh, engineering manager. I went to Clemson University and got my mechanical engineering degree. It's, it's an awesome degree. It's very prestigious, right? It's uh, obviously, it's, it's well known and it's renowned uh, and, and it's a big check mark on the resume. An engineer, the most important thing you learn in a four year degree is not the, the theory, it's the ability to think critically, right? If you can't grasp that, you're not. You can study thermodynamics and calculus all you want, but if you think you can't think critically, you're not going to be a problem solver. And that's what we have to do. We have to pr solve problems. We have guys who have both four-year degrees and who have no degrees. Right? Um, the four-year degree is a massive help. Right? And if you're an entry-level engineer with no experience, it's a must. It's going to have to be in your repertoire. The guys who in our department don't have that degree, it's because they've been doing this for so long, it just comes to them intuitively. Everybody's opinion matters in that role, right? Everybody has to have the ability to come to the table with an idea. And if you have that depth of knowledge and that experience and the practical experience from, from college and you retain all that, it's gonna make a huge difference when you step into this role. What helped me a lot is that the group here is so inviting and they're, they're very friendly. Uh, the guys want to cut up and have a little fun as well as get serious and get the job done right. I would highly recommend a career in automation. Right, You get to flex your creative muscles, right? It's challenging, so there's uh, always a new problem to solve. Even when it's the same customer and, and, and you do several projects for them, each project most likely is going to be a new challenge, right? A different issue that, that you have to find a solution for. My name's Tyler Mode, and I design and build the future.